Okay, g'day. So this video is, is my first video and I'm doing it on the conduction system of the heart. So what is the conduction system? Well, you probably already know a bit about it, but it's basically the electrical impulse um, that goes through the heart and that causes the, 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 heart, the muscle of the heart, the myocardium, to contract. So, just to start off, we will draw a heart. So, I'm very good at drawing hearts. It's one of my skills. So, this is this is our heart here. It's very diagrammatic. We know this isn't really what hearts look like in the real person, but I have fun drawing it this way. All right. So here we have the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. Just to briefly go through how the heart works as a pump, um, blood enters in to the right atrium, deoxygenated blood, enters into the right atrium um, via the superior and inferior vena cava. Now, as it enters into the right atrium in, during diastole, this valve here, the tricuspid valve, is actually open, and the blood flows into the ventricle as well. And actually, most of the ventricle filling is actually done in diastole and not actually from the atrium, um, according to Guyton. So, blood flows in there, but not all of it, of course, and, and you probably already know that the atrium pump into the ventricle. So, during diastole, a lot of blood flow in the ventricle. Then in atrial systole, the atrial contract and pump the remaining deoxygenated blood out of the atrium and into the ventricle. And then this same blood goes into, and then from the ventricle goes into the pulmonary circulation and then enters into the left atrium where essentially the same process happens and at the same time um, so simultaneously whilst this is going on blood from different blood um, is coming in from the pulmonary circulatory and circulation and entering the left side of the heart so subsequent blood from the which is oxygenated, which is why subsequent blood from the left ventricle then pumps out into the actual circulation via the aorta and basically gives your body all the blood it needs. Okay, so how does this all happen from a sort of an electrical standpoint? Because um, the muscle is not going to contract without the electrical energy that tells it to contract. I won't go into any detail about how that happens, but I'll give you the steps in which it actually occurs. Okay, so electrical impulses traditionally in, in a healthy heart begins at the SA node. Okay, now why it begins at the SA node is because the SA node is actually the fastest pacemaker of the heart. It's not the only one, but it's the fastest by far. And because it's so fast, it's 80 per, 100 to 80 beats per minute um, without any um, input from the nervous system. That's you know, kind of in your normal in your normal person. Now, because it's so fast, the actual um, action potentials that it generate will essentially cancel out the other pacemakers. So that's the SA node. It's the fastest. Now, how it actually works is through, it's quite leaky. Um, there's more salt, more uh, Na and calcium outside of the cells in the SA node. Um, and it's actually permeable to these. It leaks in. They go in, create an action potential, and then it all happens and it spreads out. Um, I'm not going to go into detail into that. 
um, it's not one of my favourite subjects um, but that's what happens okay so from the SA node it spreads out into the H in, into the myocardium of the atria and it actually goes into the left atrium as well so that both atriums for all intents and purposes contract simultaneously so it goes through this band here by way of the anterior interatrial band I'm just going to write that down so that's the anterior interatrial band okay and it spreads out through there now so that's the atria contracting which I talked about before now you do want time between the atria contract a, a small amount of time between when the atria contracts and fills up this um, the ventricles and the ventricles contracting and pumping blood into the pulmonary and systemic speculation so how does that happen well that happens the delay happens thanks to the AV node so bear with me So from the SA node also goes to the AV node where it is Sorry. Fix that up. So that happens uh, So goes via the AV node where it is detained so that's the AV node or atrioventricular node so it's actually detained here for a short period of time um, I might grab out my textbook at the end and talk about it and write down the different times for you um, so it's detained here for milliseconds um, but relatively long then through the AV node it actually travels into the ventricles through the cardiac skeleton so I'll just draw here it's very diagrammatic so it transverses through the cardiac skeleton now this cardiac skeleton, um, as I'll call it, it's gotten a few different names, but it, its important thing is that it will not allow the conduction of electric impulses, of action potentials, except through the bundle of hiss, which is this here. The bundle of hiss is comes out of the AV node, so it's a bundle of hiss here, which I'll write down for you. That's here. And that's the bundle of this. So the bundle of his travels through the cardiac skeleton. Um, and the electrical the electrical impulses travel via the bundle of his through the cardiac skeleton and then it diverges into the diverges into the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch now 
you know, through these bundle branches, it actually then uh, turns into the conducting cells can turn into Perkin G fibers, which I'll draw a little bit in a slightly different color. And these are very very fast and then they very quickly traverse through both ventricles it's coming off here very quickly and they cause the myocardial cells in the ventricles to contract yep. okay so that's basically it so just to go through it again quickly, I'll use a, what color green will do. Okay, just to make it all very messy. So the impulse starts at the SA node here. It goes through both atria. Very quickly it gets detained at the AV node which holds it for a short period of time before sending it through the bundle of his which transverses through the myocardial skeleton then it divides these cells conducting cells divide into the right bundle branch and left bundle branch where then they further divide into Purkinje fibers which is a bit of a I'll just write that down for you. Perkin G fibers. Yep, which are very fast. And that causes contraction of the ventricles. And that's about it. Now, understand this is.